yeah all of these all of this theft is nothing in comparison to wage theft which is the real organized most devious lick of all but you know ultimately overnight so this is what's popping off right now you know holidays are around and some of you uh don't have a lot of money to uh, get expensive gifts for your family but you want to still celebrate the holiday season. So what do you do? Well, apparently smashing grabs are all the rise right now. Okay. And this is a big deal. Okay. Big deal. Big, big, big deal. Every local news story is about this. Okay. If you go on local news, awesome. dude, if you go on local news, everyone is talking about just like robberies that are occurring, robberies that are occurring, robberies that are occurring, robberies that are occurring, Louis Vuitton stores uh, ransacked. And apparently there's like organizations or there is like a little bit more organizing behind it. It's like, it'll be like 80 people at a time. You know what I mean? I don't know how they're doing it, but like they're, they're working hard, these people. Okay. I'm just saying, you know, I think video games are uh, responsible Three for this. They no think ads. that you can loot it. You know, you can loot the store if you can get away with it. So um, let's take a look at this story. Another break-in. This one at LA's high-end shopping center, The Grove. Leaving store windows smashed, the suspect still at large after a police pursuit. It comes after a separate string of smash-and-grab robberies in Northern California. Get on the sidewalk! From the heart of San Francisco... To suburban Walnut Creek, highly organized shoplifting crews breaking into high-end retailers, grabbing merchandise... Highly organized shoplifting crews. Breaking into that shushy, shush see. And fleeing. A cluster of getaway cars blocking traffic to aid their getaways. The Bro, this is like, it's nuts, dude. The way that they're operating is like, you know, if you're doing organized retail theft, like, just keep it, you know? I just, I don't know. It's like some Grand Theft Auto shit. It's kind of cool. I'm sorry. It's just like, oh, yeah, I know, I know. Theft is wrong and bad, okay? There you go. I said it. Please do not steal. Uh, it's bad and wrong, okay? It's like the Foot Clan from Ninja Turtles. It's literally 100 thieves, dude. This is what they are. This is 100 thieves. He's taking place in a matter of minutes. I saw people running down the street. I probably saw 50 to 80 people in like ski masks, crowbars, like a bunch of weapons. In San Francisco, eyewitness video capturing masked <coughs> thieves with armfuls of stolen goods. Police racing to the scene, bashing in a suspect's car window to make an arrest. In all, nine stores were hit. <laughs> Police say eight people Easy. have been arrested, with several weapons and thousands of dollars in merchandise recovered. We're not going to allow people to come in and continue to do this in our city. More officers are being assigned to union. Dude, if you ever watch like pre 9 11 footage, okay, any big city, pre 9 11 oh, footage, see. no cop dresses like this, okay? This is like SWAT team shit. Now, every beat cop is literally looking like they're ready to get a tactical nuke kill streak. Jesus Christ, dude. Union Square, San Francisco's holiday shopping and tourism center. The mayor vowing to limit vehicle access to the area. There will be traffic delays because we can't continue to allow people to freely flow in and out of this city, commit these acts and get away with it. Smash and grab robberies are hitting other cities as well, including Meet Beverly TTS Hills hassle. and suburban Chicago, where this Louis Vuitton store was hit in broad daylight. The cost of organized retail crime estimated by one trade organization at more than $68 billion worth of products. Multi-agency task forces now set up in Illinois and California. One year of These are crimes of opportunity, but they're very well organized and they need to be held to account. Some current and former law enforcement officials blame downgraded laws that have made crimes that were previously felonies into misdemeanors, saying it discourages police pursuits for nonviolent crimes. Until there's a response, until there's a political will and legislative efforts to support police efforts to stop this sort of activity, we're going to see it proliferate and continue. Bro, this shit is crazy, dude. Larry Elder would have just nuked the shopping district. Uh, you have to keep your theft legal, like wage thefts or tax theft yeah i mean literally um this stuff is wild it is wild i mean dude they got organized criminal uh like they got organized crime activity happening at the louis vuitton store you know what i mean robbing cartier must be the most moral robbery aside from a bank robbery yeah, exactly i was just about to say if this is if they're this organized why are they stealing from nordstrom and not a bank time to level up because you can't really steal from a bank and get away with it it's like way harder the best places to steal from are uh jewelry stores not from banks dude Banks are not worth stealing from. They're just not. And if you do like small smashing grabs, especially in, uh, you know, 
uh if you do small smashing grabs like you can make like a quick 10k you know what i mean with the shit that you stole whereas um you know if you if you hit a bank like the stakes are so much higher dude it's just not it's not worth it i know that you think this is justified but why is this happening the right weaponizes things like this to say that the left are lawless i know that these people's material needs are not being met but this seems extreme it is extreme dude when you have like an organized a level of like organized crime to this degree when you have an org a level of organized crime to this degree like shit is going down okay people's material needs are not being addressed because like these guys aren't stealing like okay so the average racist looks at this and goes oh them blacks they're stealing from louis v louis vuitton so they can wear their hip-hop style shoes you know their their hip-hop style shoes and belts it's like no they're not doing that they're doing that because this is the this is the easiest way to like flip uh expensive items that are easy to steal um so you can make money you need money this is how you make money so um it's not about like wearing the they're not gonna like wear uh the the gucci bag okay it, it's not why people are doing that organized crime is a desperate grab for power by those whose needs are not being met they lash out because they're suffering i think so yeah literally no one has any faith left in the system so why not steal as long as social safety nets keep getting gutted this will happen more and more I feel like we're reaching a collapse of ussr type beat for sure it's not like they're lazy they're organizing and shit y'all are really out here defending this insanity no i'm not i'm not like i'm not defending organized retail theft okay what i'm simply stating is when you get to a point where there's organized retail retail theft you That's have true. to figure out something different like what we have done so far is not working okay what we have done so far is literally not working Stealing shit equals collapse of the USSR. No, this level of theft happy. shows that people like this isn't something that you do for funsies. Okay. I don't know why you people don't understand that. Like they're not doing this for fun. They're doing this because they don't have a lot of other options. Okay. This doesn't mean like, oh man, they're starving and they're like stealing a oh, loaf of bread for their family. Well. They're stealing something so they can pay for a loaf of bread for their family. Okay. You are not defending it, but you make me want to steal. There are people who steal for fun. Talk to some criminals. Yeah, of course there are people who steal for fun, dude. That doesn't mean that like crime is not a direct consequence of people's socioeconomic or material conditions though. So what? There are people who, like, there's people who do shit, insane shit for fun. That doesn't, you, you know, doesn't change the reality of like, again, violent crime, for example. People murder for fun too. Serial killers exist. That doesn't mean every violent crime is, is not directly a consequence of material conditions. This clip will end up on Republican Twitter. Socialist is on house own. Thinks stealing is good. Yeah, all of these, all of this theft is nothing in comparison to wage theft, which is the real organized, most devious lick of all. But, you know, ultimately, <sighs> this is, this is really scary. It's like you have an otherwise like supposedly liberal area and this kind of shit. Why didn't they just steal bread then? Hey, dumbass, how much bread do you think you can steal? Are you stupid? You know, you know, bread goes bad, right? Instead of stealing bread every time you need bread, you steal easily accessible handbags that you can sell for a thousand dollars a pop so you can buy bread for the whole month. How stupid can you be? Anyway, uh, I see a few people in the chat saying that this is good, but front facing employees at these businesses are going to be the ones facing discipline and cut hours due to the sheer volume and cost of goods. I do think I generally agree with your take on this. I mean, those people, those people sometimes get in trouble for this sort of stuff, even though it's completely outside of their control. That's shitty. Um, it's like saying, steal a dime and you're a thief, steal a pension and you're a CEO. Yeah. <laughs> I love when conservative dipshits say they're not stealing from a bookstore. Hmm. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Can't wait to sell books that I stole for $10 a pop instead of literally uh, one Gucci bag. That's it. Or one Louis Vuitton bag. Are you mad about bread or racism? Also, would be less mad if they stole bread or would you still be upset? No, I wouldn't be. Dude, the reality is like, this is why people get super mad at me, okay? This is why people get super mad at me. Because when I see stuff like this, I recognize that, you know, something in everyone's brains, because we all want to live in like a, a, a world where there's, you know, some kind of order. Something in our brain says immediately, like, this is really wrong because this is a collapse. This is a collapse of that system. And it's true. This is Almost a collapse bye -bye. of the way uh, that, uh, of the current way that we're supposed to be existing. Okay. It's, it's chaotic, completely chaotic. And it's understandable to feel that way where you're like, well, this is fucked up. Okay. Pepe la. But when I look at that, when I look at the situation like this, my immediate inclination isn't to be like, well, what the fuck? I mean, I see it and I recognize that it's fucked up as well. But my immediate inclination isn't like, we need to give cops 100% of the budget of the city 
instead of just 40 to 50 percent of the budget of the city okay and start shooting fools in the street so that like what the gucci bags can be returned to their rightful stores so that uh you know the stores that actually want to keep uh, the high markup that they have destroy them at the end of the season anyway in order to create artificial scarcity so um i don't feel that way i i think that the right way to approach this situation is by making it so that not a single person has to literally get together in a discord server with their friends and create an 80 person tag team organized uh, retail theft uh, group you know what i mean the only lesson that will be drawn is jails are too comfortable and sentences too short exactly that's what people the the reality is the worst part about this is not like in my opinion when i see stuff like this the worst part about this isn't like oh no they stole from the store or whatever no one gives a fuck about i don't give a about that okay what i give a fuck about is this makes people uh slide further and further into reactionary approaches to dealing with crime these people are cool they don't use discord okay they do they use whatsapp then Cops oh yeah it is true robberies like these are mostly cool. victim free crimes there can be victims in in certain instances though as most luxury stores would have insurance and insurance companies are evil bastards uh, certainly it's not as like it's not as ethical as stealing from a bank or robbing a bank because like you know, there is like one layer of, uh, you know, one layer that, that uh, puts you directly. I mean, I guess like it's a similar attitude. Yes, these stores are insured. Do you think if the system was better, people wouldn't steal? Do I think that if people's material needs were addressed, they wouldn't resort to this? Yes, of course I would. I, I think that. Are you insane? Yeah, 100%. Do you think a mother uh, who is able to like go to school, have a nice quiet life, uh, and and is otherwise like a neat and watches me on Twitch is gonna find himself in a situation where he's like I'm so desperate that I, yeah I'm gonna go and we're gonna try to make as much money as we possibly can by stealing uh, from the Louis Vuitton store yeah you the good way like there's a reason why this shit doesn't happen in other places at the same severity and at the same level as the United States of America and those other places also have a way more tolerant approach to crime so what's up you know Obvious. think about that. So what's up? Why is this not happening all the time in Norway in a place where like prisons are actually comfy, you know? Motherfucker play GTA RP. And How do you know this is organized on Discord? It's organized somewhere. You can't bring 80 people together um uh, and and bring this level of organization to a f You can't you can't bring this many people together without like, you know, organizing them somewhere. It's probably either WhatsApp or Discord. Very difficult to find too. Needs also wouldn't have the social skills to organize smashing grabs. You Authorities say the ringleaders are often not present during these organized sprees, making prosecutions even more difficult. And police in Walnut Creek say the robberies were not linked to protests that have taken place in response to the not guilty verdict in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. Savannah? Yeah, the not guilty verdict there, Aaron. Thank you very much. What? That's not... <laughs> this is literally nothing to do with that. What the... F 18 months hassle does this mean good evening ringleaders okay dude rot? i mean there's I straight up some people that are like getting fun. others to do this like come on and they can just buy the handbags if they want them so badly <laughs> yeah dude they're stealing 11 gucci handbags because they really wanted the handbags dude <laughs> yeah guys that's why people steal from stores and stuff like when uh when people are looting um, they're doing it because they just like really wanted a nice thing. No, dumbass. They're stealing so they can sell it. It's for cash. Okay. So they can buy shit. No, so they steal the bag so they can eat them. No, not the bag, but you know, a loaf of bread is, you know, not that expensive. Ultimately you can't really, and it goes bad after a while. So you have to steal, uh, if you, you have to steal to buy the loaf of bread. People think that this the is like the olden like days, you know what I mean? Where, you know, you got, you don't make any sense. Really f up chat about looters. Where is Rittenhouse when you need him? Shut the f up, bitch. Mercedes and BMW and getaway cars. Yes, yeah, super oppressed, Lamal. Yeah, no, dude, you're right. They're actually really wealthy uh, and they're just stealing for fun. If that's what you want, like, if that's the kind of an attitude you want to demonstrate. Yeah, these are actually secretly incredibly wealthy people because they're stealing. And they're stealing because they're incredibly wealthy. Except incredibly wealthy people steal from you all the time. It's called your boss. It's called wage theft, okay? It's called exploitation. And you suckle on your boss's boots every goddamn day. And you think this is actually uh, normal and fine, sir. Thank you. Thank you for f***ing me every goddamn day of my goddamn life. Meanwhile, mother 
Because I have like a used BMW from 1998. And you're like, oh, he's got a Beamer that, he, that he's using as a getaway car. He must be a wealthy person. Yeah, he's got a Honda Civic that he's driving off in. Wow, dude. Yeah, dude, these guys are actually just really rich. And that's why they're doing it. Because they're just doing it for fun. It's so weird. Like, it's not like there's a magical fencing vendor that is buying. I feel like I'm giving you guys Crime 101 here. But are you dumb? You can sell it on eBay. You can sell it on the Facebook marketplace. You can sell it on Instagram. There is like a million different places where you can actually sell stolen goods. What the f are you talking about? Am I just like teaching you guys? There's not like a magical fence. This isn't the world of Warcraft, okay? In 2008, when the housing market collapsed, my best friend's family lost their house. They were struggling financially. My friend started stealing stuff that she needed. I finally connected the dots on this and I can't believe it has taken so long. Anyway, yo, delete this VOD. Yeah, this is like straight up crime 101 over here, dude. This is crazy. Um, no, you just have a lot of young white zoomers. We're stealing money from you by not watching ads at the top of the hour. Ad break. That's right. Stealing is wrong. Still unless you're using a Twitch there. Prime to avoid the ad break at the top of the hour every hour, folks. No, chat is stupid as shit. Don't entertain it. Yeah, at the top of the hour, there's a six second ad break. And if you want to deviously lick the ad break before we get to the Kyle Rittenhouse, Tucker Carlson uh, interview, the television interview, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do that for $5. You can do that for free with a Twitch Prime as the ultimate devious league. You can also deviously like a gifted Giving sub if, it, if uh, you're lucky, but probably not. Okay. Except Rare Behemoth just gifted five people the devious league opportunity not to see ads anymore. So there's at least that. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, uh, Rare Behemoth. Uh, here is the ad break. Uh, now, thank you, God's third leg for the 10 people that will no longer see ads because of you. Here's the woman ad break now. There are glitches to make money in GTA Online. Genki194, thank you for the five gifted. Making this notification go away. Violence and theft. You covered this five months ago. Violence and theft are similar. Sir Sup, thank you for the 10 gifted. Um, like, we, whether we admit it or not, whether we recognize it or not, there's like acceptable forms of violence. Like the state, for example, when a cop bashes a protester's skull in, most people see that as an acceptable form of violence. When a cop bashes a thief's skull in. Most people see that as an acceptable form of violence. And it, it, if you were a protester and a cop throws a tear gas canister at you, that is seen as an acceptable form of violence. But if you kick that tear gas back, then that is seen as an unacceptable form of violence, okay? And theft is the exact same. When your boss steals from you, that is seen as an acceptable form of Retail theft in the form of wage out. theft. When your boss makes you work without giving you, you know, back pay, without giving you uh, any sort of hazard pay, if you're in a condition where you're like you deserve hazard pay that is seen as an acceptable form of theft when a cop stops you and engages in civil asset forfeiture because as you're a black as dude as and you have some cash in your pockets and that automatically means you must be a drug dealer that is seen as an acceptable form of theft okay so that's the difference another form of violence is structural violence poverty is structural violence so these people are being subjected to structural violence in the form of poverty so the way to retaliate against that is by trying to survive and the only way to survive in this circumstance for them is by doing the least like invasive, still traumatizing for the people that work at the store itself, but like the least invasive way that they can, uh, you know, uh, make some money. And the way to do that is by stealing Louis Vuitton handbags so they can sell it. And most people immediately are like, oh, they're black. They're stealing it for themselves because, you know, they're just black and it's like no you're a racist idiot they're not stealing it for themselves in most of those circumstances they're stealing it so they could sell it because that is a small item that is easily grabbable that can go for a thousand dollars depending on what you just grabbed okay just want to make sure that you understand that and don't get duped by local news and like mainstream media into thinking like black people are just behaving in an in a ridiculous way old trope stereotypical way whatever stealing uh, shoes or handbags because they want to wear it or whatever the fuck. they're stealing it because it's the and it's not even all black people that are doing this obviously in this organized crime shit but they're stealing it so because it's the easiest way to make a lot of money okay we're you talking about how people steal things they need no i said people steal because they need they have needs they have needs that are not addressed okay 17 months you steal a loaf of bread you just have a loaf of bread for the week and that loaf of bread goes bad anyway you steal a gucci bag you have you can buy as many loaves of bread as you want why are you so obsessed that they're black because it's the common I trope in local mean. news I'm not 100% sure, but pretty they sure the kicking a tear gas canister back or even throwing it back at the police was considered self-defense in a legal case in Germany. It is absolutely, without a doubt, without a shred of a doubt, not considered self-defense in the United States of America. 
Police have unironically charged protesters for using leaf blowers when tear gas canisters are tossed at them. So that they use leaf blowers to blow back the tear gas at the cops. That's considered assault. Okay. They literally will arrest you for that in a protest. That's not even straight up like illegal in America. The irony, of course. Also, when I say bread, I don't mean like literally from a piece of bread, a loaf of bread. Bread I'm using as a, as a substitute for food. But most importantly, like even if you steal little, uh, you know, even if you steal little things that you need from the convenience store, from the grocery, uh, from, you know, your local CVS or whatever, that's not, you can't pay rent with that. What are you going to do? You're going to give your landlord the nice little Gillette uh, shaving cream that you stole? No, you need to give your landlord money. <laughs> give a man a steal and he can eat for a day. Teach a man to steal and he can eat for life. Yeah, exactly. That's why. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>